Hi, let's do some wiggle effect and add a snappy look to it using posterized time expression. Okay, let's start by creating new composition and adjust the time duration to be 5 seconds. First step is to add a text layer and right wiggle. Then we need to add a shape layer by adding a circle. Then let's add a solid color as a background. Let's adjust the anchor point to be in the middle of the text and in the middle of the shape. Then let's add some animation here in the keyframes to the circle to have some sort of an elastic move. Adding a keyframe here, maybe adding someone here and click F9 to make it easy ease. Oh, that's 10%. Let's adjust it to 100% and move backward to see what we are doing. Mm, let's move this a little bit. Maybe even move it a little more. Mm, move this. It looks fine now. Okay, now let's copy the keyframes. We applied on the uh, shape layer to the wiggle. To save time, let's move the layer two keyframes forward to have an overlap effect. Let's add the first expression to the position by declaring two variables, f and a, and give the f a value of 3 and a the value of 10. Then add posterized time expression and apply to the f variable and then write the value which will be wiggle f and a. And this is the result. Okay, now let's copy the whole code to the shape layer. See the result here? It looks fine. It looks fine. Okay. Now let's posterize the time of the scale. So we will write posterize time and type 12, which will be the number of the frames that would be converted from 25 frames per second to 12 frames per second. That's the meaning of 12 here. I need to adjust it a little bit to be 8, maybe more to be 10, and apply this to the value. What is the value here? It's the keyframes of the scale. Okay, let's copy this again to the scale of the text. And it looks fine. Now we need to add the four small circles around the big one. So let's duplicate this by click on Ctrl uh, D. To adjust the circle size, we need to add null and make it parent to the shape layer. Then scale it down and do more duplicates to get the final look. Okay, like this. Maybe add one more here and shift the layers to have another overlap effect and that's how it looks now let's add the shadow to the wiggle text by going to the layer styles and choose drop shadow and adjust the color to be matching the gray one but a little bit darker and we need to make it very harsh by reducing the size to zero and increase the distance and this will be our final look if you found this useful please like it subscribe to see all upcoming tutorials